with Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. It has been a quiet night across the Ozarks, and that's not going to change. Skies are clear right now. Temperatures are cooling off now out of the 40s and into the 30s, 39 degrees. And that combination of calm winds and clear skies will allow these temperatures to continue to drop closer to our dew point. Looks like morning lows probably right around freezing mark. We got close to freezing this morning in Springfield with a low of 34, one of the colder readings on the map, but things warm nicely. Uh, yes, we had a few clouds this morning, but the afternoon was filled with sunshine and temperatures warmed into the middle and upper 50s. Even had some low 60s on the map here across northern Arkansas. 58 degrees this afternoon in Springfield, still a hair below normal. The average high this time of the year is 59 degrees, and it looks like over the next several days we are going to find at or above Above normal temperatures as our pattern continues to warm up a bit. Uh, looking at the month of March, uh, we have certainly seen more below normal days than above normal days, and this sort of bucks the trend of what we've experienced throughout the winter season, where uh, all of those months we had at least slightly above normal temperatures. And that's not the case this month, and a lot of it has to do with that first week in the month, which was so brutal when we had lows, or actually highs, I should say, at or below freezing for several days in a row unusually cold uh, and that has really helped to sort of like uh, keep those averages low for the month. But we're going to do our best here in the last week and a half to try to to uh, pull us out of that deficit as we are going to find some mild days over the next 10 days. Looking at conditions right now in the region, it is quiet. We've got some high cloudiness off to the west. This is going to be sneaking into our skies by sunrise and it looks like while it won't be crystal clear tomorrow, these high clouds are going to be very thin and wispy, so still a most Mostly sunny day across the Ozarks after a starry night tonight and winds are going to be light with this area high pressure cruising across the area. We are going to have that combination that beautiful combination of sunshine, light winds and mild afternoon highs in the 60s and that's despite this cold front pushing into the area. It really will have little impact uh, on our conditions. In fact, temperatures tomorrow are going to be warmer than they were today. Also notice some rain on the map to our west. This will be the leading edge of some unsettled weather which will impact our weekend. More on that here in a second. Here's a look at tonight's lows. Again, right around the freezing mark for tomorrow. We'll find temperatures though warming very quickly. Uh, should be in the mid 50s by lunchtime with afternoon highs in the mid 60s. It looks like about 61 in Rolla, 65 here in Springfield, down toward Cassville in the mid 60s, Harrison 66 and looks like upper 60s in the Mountain Home and Yellville area. Now getting to the storm this weekend. That storm right now is swirling away here in the southwestern U.S. We've already had one storm, though, move through the eastern U.S., and what that has done is scoured out the Gulf of Mexico moisture. So things are very dry across the eastern U.S. This isn't really a good environment for stormy weather with the next storm coming in, but it looks like there's going to be enough time for the Gulf of Mexico to open up enough to send some moisture north to meet up with this storm system that will be moving across the region by Sunday. And it looks like there'll be just enough instability and just enough wind energy where we are going to have to keep an eye on things. It looks like showers and thunderstorms will try to develop along this front and then shift southeast across northern Arkansas Sunday evening. And while I don't expect widespread severe weather, I can't rule out at least an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm risk uh, out of that scenario. Otherwise, again, mild temperatures into the weekend. Looks like about 60 on Saturday. Uh, it'll be a mostly cloudy day, mostly dry, just a slight change chance for an afternoon shower. A few showers around Saturday night into Sunday. Sunday looks mainly cloudy. Uh, we're looking at colder and cloudier conditions also on Monday with highs in the low 50s. Sunshine returns Tuesday, still chilly, and then temperatures start to rebound. We're back in the 60s again Wednesday into Thursday. Hard to believe it's almost time too to start planting things it, yeah, outside. Well, and if you've looked around, you've seen that the uh, daffodils are now I blooming. And I was just saying to Heather, mm -hmm. and she's seen uh, cardinals around your house. Yeah. I saw a blue jay near mine the other day. I'm so. happy. The birds are singing. Happy yeah. about it. <laughs> All right. What's our viewers club I number? I almost don't mind mowing. This mowing season. I heard I'm one not, in my neighborhood the other yet. day. I was like, who's mowing this I am early? I'm not there yet. <laughs> well, speaking of green, let's talk about this jackpot. It's up to $700. Here's our viewers club number for tonight, 2304-0-0. If you feel like mowing, come on over. <laughs> Get the head of my yard for me. It's easy right now. You're just hitting the grass club. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. true. That's yeah, true. Yeah. Or, or the molehills, that's yeah. for sure. All right, coming up tonight on our news.